Hey guys, Kevin here from Pwn Zone Gaming, bringing you my first loadout video for Team Fortress 2. So basically the way that these videos are going to work is that you guys are going to be able to submit custom loadouts in the description below. I'll be selecting one of them, and then I will run through some of the pros and cons of that loadout while showing you some gameplay. So today's loadout is going to be comprised of, as the primary weapon, the lock and load the splendid screen for your, um, I guess, secondary weapon, uh, because it replaces the demo's secondary weapon, and then your melee weapon, which is going to be the Persian Persuader. So as we jump into some of the gameplay, I'll be kind of discussing some of the pros and cons of these weapons. Um, so we're going to start with the lock and load, which becomes my primary weapon. Now, as you can see, you only get two shots for this weapon, which um, is a little detrimental, especially because um, with the Persian Persuader, you're going to be picking up all of your ammo and health um, as health, so you're not going to actually be able to replenish your ammo, so you've got to make those shots count, especially because with the lock and load, uh, what's going to be happening is if you don't hit an enemy, the shot that you shoot is going to disintegrate and you're not going to get any splash damage. So basically you have to hit an enemy, otherwise it's not going to do anything. It's not like the regular grenade launcher where you can kind of just spam some shots and hope that you're going to get some kind of residual damage and kills. So with the lock and load, again, you have to be very precise, um, but when you do hit them, it is a crushing blow. Um, I think you get a 25% damage increase, um, so pretty much if you hit a scout, um, spies, things like that, it's a one-hit kill, even engineers, as you can see there. Um, for other classes, like uh, heavies and things like that, sometimes it can take two or three hits, um, but it's definitely very devastating, especially if they have any kind of lowered health. Now, you did see a little bit ago, um, I killed a sentry gun with the lock and load. One of the perks of using the lock and load is definitely um, its power against sentry guns. Um, I think you can take down any sentry gun, not sure about level 3s, but I know level 2 and 1s um, with only 2 hits from the lock and load. Um, so if you can get a nice range shot, you can definitely take down a sentry very quickly. Uh, mini sentries go down in 1 hit, so if an engineer kind of throws down a pesky uh, mini sentry, you can take it out very quickly. So let's move on to uh, the Splendid screen. Basically, um, there's not too much to say there. It does do a little bit, uh, or it has a little bit different perks um, from the Charge and Charge. Um, I think the primary one is that it does less um, fire resistance damage, so basically you take a little bit more damage from fire. Um, but the benefit of it is that you can take and charge and hurt enemies at any distance. So if you use the Charge and Charge, basically um, you have to be very direct in order to get a kill by actually charging with that um, with that shield. So with the splendid screen basically you can charge at people um, from any distance and do damage to them um, which becomes very helpful um, and also with the Persian Persuader you're getting a much faster recharge so you can kind of use that charge um, from the splendid screen to actually take and move about the map rather than just using it for combat. So um, now we'll just take in and move on to the Persian Persuader. Um, it's definitely a fantastic weapon. Um, I can hold my own with the Persian Persuader and the Splendid Screen alone without the lock and load. And so whenever you use your two shots of the lock and load, it becomes really easy to just switch to your uh, melee weapon and take care of business. So um, again, the downside to the, uh, to the Persian Persuader is basically that you pick up everything as health. So it can kind of have a downside and an upside. One, you're definitely going to be able to be very mobile if you don't have any medics um, or your medics suck. It's definitely going to be able to help you a lot because you're going to just be able to pick up guns, um, ammo packs, health packs, everything turns into health for you. Um, the downside is that you don't have any ammo. So that basically wraps it up for my little recap of these weapons. They definitely work really well together. Now, one special thing I'm going to be doing with this series is I'm going to be giving away one of the weapons that you see in this loadout. Hopefully later on I'll be able to give out a few more. So if you want a chance at getting any of those weapons, just leave a comment down below. I'll be selecting um, the winner in the next video, or basically um, the next time I post a video I'll be selecting the winner, and I'll contact you through YouTube. Um, so. Again, if you want to submit a loadout, what you need to do is specify your three weapons that you want me to be using, so the three um, different loadout items, and then at the very end of your comment, you want to take and do hashtag loadout. Um, I'll basically be searching through the YouTube comments in order to find that specific phrase, um, so make sure you put hashtag loadout at the end of any loadout submissions, and hopefully you'll see yours in a future video. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe, rate, and comment. I do put out a new video every week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.